Damien and I share this vision of resilience as something beyond just persistence. Mm. Because I think about four or five years ago, which is before the pandemic, we, uh, we, we saw that uh, we wanted uh, people to have the skills, the capabilities to not only survive, but thrive with change. And back then, generally when you ask people, okay, what does resilience mean? They'll say, okay, resilience is perseverance, tenacity, grit, never give up, which is true. And usually the stories attached to these values are people who have gone through very, very difficult circumstances in life. They've gone through some uh, major disaster and how they've survived it and picked themselves up. But we also wanted it to apply to people who live on a day-to-day -day basis. So it could be, for instance, uh, a single mom working two jobs to support her children. Uh, it could be a retiree who is facing the prospect of staying meaningfully engaged. It could also be students who are still trying to find their way around in this very unpredictable and uh, in a way intimidating world. So while things like perseverance, resilience, grit, tenacity are important, we also identified that in order to be at our best selves so that we can thrive and not just survive, so we use uh, the hand mm. as the framework for thrive. Mm -hmm. So T-H-R-I-V-E, mm. right? So each finger and the palm represents one key component of uh, resilience, our holistic resilience. So the first is your thumb. Mm. The T stands for our thoughts. So things like our values, our beliefs, our mindset. The H stands for health, because if we're not healthy, it's very difficult to thrive. R is relationships, mm. because without relationships, right, we cannot have things like love, friendship, kindness, generosity, compassion. I is income and investments. So this will be right up your at least. And, <laughs> <laughs> so, and income investments is, in the kind of society that we live in, mm. uh, money is a proxy for many things. Mm. At the very basic, it's a proxy for stability and security. If we don't learn how to manage our money, we will become a slave to money and that, it's very difficult to thrive that way. Mm. The V, we say vocation and we don't say work because with the idea of vocation is this idea of meaning and purpose. Mm. And it's what we see affecting many people around the world when they do things day in and day out without really understanding why they're doing it what's in it for them, how does it contribute to society. And I think the pandemic was a very good study in the importance of meaning. Mm. And the E is, the. this is a slightly longer thing, is the enlightened self-awareness. Right. So we believe that self-awareness is important, but self-awareness alone is not enough. For instance, someone who is a gambling addict, mm. he knows he has a gambling problem. Mm. But if he can, that, so that's level one self awareness. But if he cannot do anything about it, his life doesn't change. Mm. Someone who is has that enlightened self awareness is able to identify what he needs to do mm. in order for him to thrive. Mm. And this E is what brings everything together because your hand is not the same as my hand. So your picture of thrive will look very different from mine. But each component, what health looks like to you, what good health looks like to you, what what supportive relationships look like to you, enough income, uh, meaningful work, all these also look unique to you. Mm -hmm. But we do know that when we have all five fingers working together, the hand is its strongest. Mm -hmm. If I suffer an impairment in one finger, but the others are strong enough to support, we can also thrive. For instance, if I like to use this example, Stephen Hawking. Mm -hmm. So Stephen Hawking had very bad health, but he had the other pillars to compensate for it and he lived a thriving existence for a large part of his life. And the other thing is, we use the hand because there is no such thing as an individual resilience. We are only as resilient as the communities that we, we belong to. So our hands are not only meant to serve ourselves, to do things for ourselves, but our hands are also meant to support other people. So we believe that resilience requires community, mm -hmm. which is why the engagements that we are involved in, at some point it will involve 
some level of community development. Right. Yeah. So yeah, that's uh, that's how we, <laughs> from that core mission, mm. we built it to be able to reach out to more clients and ultimately engage more people and spread the word. Lah. Right. Of course, you mentioned about your business partner, Damien. And uh, I think uh, a lot of businesses, uh, it, they will thrive very well uh, with a partnership, but also partnership itself is complicated. Yeah. Right? So can you share a little bit about your history with Damien? How do you guys met? And how do you describe your current working relationship? Uh, I call him my brother from another mother. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, I I started out mentoring him, mm. but over time as the friendship grew, now he mentors me in other things because he has uh, a lot more experience in uh, in the entrepreneurship side of things, mm. uh, in the engage uh, going out to speak with people, you know, understanding the the core business side of things. So I'm I'm more like the front facing, you know, talk mm. to people, uh, spread the word. So we we kind of wear different hats, but I think at the at the very basic, and this also sounds simple to the point of being cliche is is that point of trust, mm. trust, in the sense that we can even disagree with each other, but the disagreement doesn't have to mean that uh, the relationship is impacted so like like uh, like i said as we were developing um the framework as we were thinking about okay how do we um engage in projects that are meaningful not only to us but to the client as well we always believed in having authentic conversations in the sense that we are free to challenge one another um and yeah that's mm. that's generally the recipe for not just friendships, but pretty much any meaningful relationship <laughs> that we want in our life. Like. 